All right, guys, we're going to take a quick ride out on the Hay Bike Brawn. I do have the Rock Brothers uh, bag. I have my phone and my wallet in there. I'm going to uh, take this ride for one of my uh, subscribers, new subscriber, Theo. He's wondering how far it'll go on, uh, how fast it'll go up a hill. And uh, we don't have a lot of hills around here that are close. I mean, you can see I live in a hilly area, but I'm going to take it up near um, Pumpkin Ridge and see what we can find there. Uh, so I'm going to cut you off here and pick you up when I get over there. There's our numbers right now. We're going to put this back into the box or into the container. And uh, we'll look at it when we're, when we're done. That'll just stay the way it is. Um, but let's get going. And uh, this is as much hill as I'm going to have for you, uh, Theo. I'm pedaling a little bit. This bike does have a uh, really good pedal ability. I'm in PAS5 and I still feel resistance. I know you said you have a bad knee. I think you said left knee. But uh, just run down the gear instead of where I'm at in gear 7, which I can pedal and feel comfortable like I'm doing some work. All you got to do is reduce it and uh, you reduce the workload and still go fast. Uh, kind of give you that here. We're going uphill. I'm in PAS 4. I don't feel anything. I'm just just rotating to rotate. And then I can, uh, I can hit throttle and still do the same. But for me, I'm going to put it in PAS 7. I'm going to punch the throttle here anyway. And we'll get up to speed here. And we're going up, uh, I don't know, some amount of incline. We're doing 25.7. We'll know better with the uh, GPS top speed. I'll just try to read them off to you. Now we're about to hit a steeper incline here for about, uh, I don't know, some amount of footage. All right, now I'm not gonna pedal up this because it is steep. Just to give you an idea, um, she's doing 21, 20. And I have half a battery, so it would be a little better when it's not half a battery. And we're gonna make it, uh, what are we, 14, 13? Yeah, this is good steep hill more than you think it is when you just look at it you'll you'll say oh well that's not a hill yeah it is and i'll show you when i get back to the uh or up here i'll turn around and kind of show you the steepness of the hill so there we are we are at the top now we're going to come around this corner now i'll just give a little pedal here uh and I have it in a gear that I feel the pedal, so I'm just going to reduce that down to four again. And now I feel like, like I'm riding even an easy bike. The easiest bike you could ride is what I'm riding right now. And I could reduce it more and just feel like I'm not riding anything. All right, I'm going to hop off here and show you behind me. Now, I live... <laughs> Well, I live down here on the on the plain section of uh, of the valley, so I, my my uh, footage is uh, 200 feet or 198 or something like that, 212 feet. Now let's see what we climbed. Uh. Altitude 107 meters. So we're, what is that? 300. Hey Siri, 107 meters in feet. So 
So 351 feet, uh, and we're sitting at two. So we climbed 150 feet uh, in that short distance. Yeah, so 150 feet from the bottom of that hill to where I'm at right now. And, uh, and it, it, it did uh, whatever it was, I don't know, 12 or 13 miles an hour up that steep hill, no pedal. Yeah, this, uh, and, and on half a battery. Uh, Theo, you talked to me last night about it, and uh, I didn't think about it, and then this morning I said, well, I'll take this out for a quick ride. Um, it would have done better as well if it were fully charged. Um, and this is stock out of the box. I have not played with anything in the display, so it may go even faster. Um, <clears throat> but what I can tell you is it certainly is uh, a brawn of a bike. <laughs> That's what they call it, the brawn. Um, and <clears throat> I think I told you last night, Hey Bike is sending me a rack, and I believe something else. They're sending me two items. I saw it in, in, a, in a mail uh, from them. There's two FedEx boxes coming this next week. They're both from Hey Bike, and I know one's the rack, and I don't know what the other one is. Uh, but uh, for me, they're a great company. They've always been very nice and pleasant with me. And I can tell you, um, I'm not the first reviewer to get the bike by any means. I'm, I'm low on their totem pole. Um, a lot of other people get it ahead of me, you know, probably six months ahead of me. They look at me as uh, the guy that can do maintenance on their bikes and get a nice video to them uh, on how to do maintenance. So. You know, I'm all good with that. Uh, they're a pleasure to deal with for me. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, bike companies. Uh, I have about four that I favor, and this is one of the four I favor. So uh, for me, I never go wrong with them, and I, and I love all their products. The first product I got was the Mars bike, and uh, it was my first 20 inch folding bike and uh i love that little thing then they sent me the ranger and uh the ranger is a little faster than the mars and a very nice bike as well i love both those bikes and now they sent me this one uh it's my first 26 inch bike from them and uh just the style on it man let me show you one more quick thing and then we'll get back to riding there's an auto under there but that outer ring as well, in the daylight running, turns on. This ring will be on. Oh, it is on. I don't know if you can see that. So on, off. On, off. On, dust to dawn kind of thing. That's a nice little light to have. Just a beautiful, beautiful display. Uh, uh, bike just a beautiful bike. All right. I'm gonna head back uh, <clears throat> I will talk to you about this and then I might put this video out uh, Next week, but I just wanted you to see now we'll go down this hill and I'll show you how how actually steep it is so I'm already going down some and I'm already doing 26 so it's a very steep, steep hill right there. Now we'll come around the corner <clears throat> and we're gonna dump out that 150 feet here in a minute. I might have to slow down because there is a uh, traffic up there for some reason. But you can see, she's a quick bike.
and we'll have a top speed run on that GPS being that my uh, my display is kind of uh, I didn't unplug the display and plug it back in I need to do that and see if that corrects my display issue uh, if I have to I will uh, email them and have them send me out a new display but It seems like it's a uh, like a pin issue or something, something loose in one of the wirings that goes on and off or something. I don't know, but uh, the bike itself is pretty quick, pretty nice. I'm going to go back up now here to PAS seven. Now I can feel the pedals. If you want to feel the pedals, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Theo, I'm typically like you. I don't mind the ghost pedaling. <laughs> ghost pedaling doesn't bother me. This one does not ghost pedal. This one has a feel in all PAS and gear uh, selections. And uh, the Braun is a it's it's a beautiful bike and uh, something you'd be proud to ride and uh, doesn't embarrass you at all. It's uh, it's got a nice stance to it. It lives up to the name Braun because it looks brawny. <laughs> Yeah, I forget about that hill for my uh, hill climb. Uh, I ought to start using that for hill climb. Yeah, I may snip a piece of this out for Hay Bike to see, see what they think. All right, we're going back up the Vidoc Hill, and this has some elevation as well. Uh, I'll drop out to about PAS5 and uh, reduce the effort in my legs. Let's see, let's go one more. Four. And at four, all I'm doing. I mean, I can feel it there, but mostly just spinning my feet. Or you don't have to spin, just use your throttle. Okay, so that's below. That, that's functioning all of this down here. F functions maximum speed, average speed, my light, and miles per hour. So that's the one that's kind of messing up. Now that could be my counter somewhere where it's uh, watching my wheel, the speed of my wheel. And that's probably what it is. It's like the uh, sensor on the, on, the, on the wheel or something. Because there it goes, working and not working. So I will send that off to uh, to Haybike and ask them uh, what it might be. Uh, before I do that, I'll check it out because it's it's definitely intermittent.
I gotta send it off to, to Haybike and ask him. That's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.